Hello guys, welcome back to another exciting video from Futurism. In this video, we will tell you about SpaceX testing their new Starship heat shields and what were the results. But before we do, make sure to stay tuned with us until the end. This is going to get very exciting. SpaceX has started enormous scope Starship heat shield establishment tests with the assistance of robots conveyed last month in a sign that the organization has of now started getting ready for the rocket's first orbital test campaign. Intended to ultimately supplant SpaceX's workhorse Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy launch vehicles, Starship is a completely reusable two-stage rocket controlled by methane and oxygen-filled Raptor engines. Actually, like Falcon 9, Starship's first stage, known as Super Heavy, will launch the consolidated rocket and upper stage to an elevation of 70 to 100 kilometers and a speed of 2.5 to 3 kilometers each second. Super Heavy will isolate, help backward towards land and either land back at the launch cushion or on a skimming stage. SpaceX as of now has broad experience launching, landing and reusing orbital class rocket promoters on account of Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy, which have finished 57 arrivals and have been reused multiple times in under 5 years. The Starship upper stage nonetheless should endure orbital speed environmental emergencies exactly 3 to multiple times quicker and dramatically more vivacious than Super Heavy supporters. To do as such regularly, while keeping Starship cost and intricacy low and reusability high, SpaceX should foster a phenomenally compelling heat shield that is simpler to introduce, keep up with and reuse than whatever is preceded it. Similarly, as with all SpaceX programs, the organization started Starship Heat Shield Establishment Advancement straight away, introducing a small bunch of tiles on Starhopper as far back as H1 2019. This proceeded with little hexagonal tile establishment tests on Starship's SN1, SN3, SN4, SN5 and SN6 all through 2020. While those coupon tests clearly didn't include orbital class re-emergence heating or slamming, they were yet valuable to portray the mechanical conduct of heat shield tiles under the pressure of cryogenic charge stacking, raptor stacking flames and jump tests. In 2019, SpaceX even tried a couple of ceramic Starship heat shield tiles on an orbital cargo Dragon mission for NASA. The way that not any more orbital cargo or crew Dragon tests were recognized implies that the exhibit was a triumph, demonstrating that the tiles can tolerate upping to anxieties of re-emergence from low Earth orbit. In the background, SpaceX is certainly performing broad lab-style tests with tiles and an arrangement endorsement with NASA Ames Research Center that affirmed that the organization is utilizing the officer's arc jet to actually reenact the states of orbital speed re-emergence. Tests on the size of a full starship nonetheless are a completely unique story. The main indications of enormous scope heat shield establishment testing showed up on July 9th when nearby by inhabitant and photographic artist Andrew Gotch caught photographs of a test coupon covering half of a whole steel Starship ring. In April 2020, Elon Musk affirmed on Twitter that the current plan included fastening heat shield tiles straightforwardly to the Starship steel frame with steel studs. It's muddled how precisely the organization is introducing steel studs straightforwardly onto the 4mm tough qualities of a strain vessel. The rack arrangement was accessible, yet Nomad's July 9th photographs unequivocally show the interaction needed to refine the settings on the secret stud installer. One month after Nomad's spotting, three weeks after a robot conveyance and five days after one of those robots, named Heat Shield, was seen in real life. The primary enormous scope heat shield establishment test article was spotted inside one of SpaceX's few creation tents. The group included unmistakably that they had a good time with the cycle, introducing the tiles as a SpaceX X. By and large, robots could be an ideal answer for the reasonable high volume establishment of a great many heat shield tiles a solitary starship will require. When resilience is sufficiently high, it's possible that numerous diverse starship segments could be exclusively furnished with studs 
and heat shield tiles by a robot, reviewed by people and combined to frame a total starship. People would almost certainly have to physically introduce a whole lot of tiles around the weld lines of those last segments. However, the manual establishment work would be diminished to a base while keeping the necessary foundation dead basic. At last, a lot of work stays before SpaceX can even start to possibly endeavor orbital Starship dry runs. It's hard to not get energized by the way that a portion of that preliminary work has currently noticeably started in South Texas. SpaceX's reusable heat shield tiles will be studied by NASA at 3000 miles per hour. Space Exploration Technologies Corps, or simply SpaceX Cutting Edge Starship Launch Vehicle stage, is a piece of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration's to concentrate on surface temperatures on vehicles going at a few times the speed of sound. The program, alluded to by NASA as the scientifically calibrated in a flight imagery program, will utilize a NASA airplane to concentrate on Starship's heat shield tiles when it re-enters the Earth's environment after an arranged orbital experimental drill one year from now. The subtleties were uncovered through a show shared by NASA's Langley Research Center and spotted by Sharp Peard towards SpaceX supporters on the online media stage Reddit. NASA SpaceX to work together for studying reusable heat shield tiles on latter's Mars rocket the short show, which comprises just two slides, uncovers a small bunch of insights regarding both NASA's arrangements for concentrating on Starship as the lease holders. The Earth's climate and SpaceX's arrangements to foster the world's first completely reusable space apparatus. At NASA's end, the space organization will foster another imaging framework that it alludes to as a high goal perception during re-emergence, utilizing adjusted infrared cameras, which will be utilized to screen surface temperatures of the whole lower surface of the Starship rocket during hypersonic re-emergence. In this selection, Starship alludes to the upper phase of the 120 meter tall shuttle that will ultimately be liable for shipping crew and cargo to a large number of objections, including the lunar and Martian surfaces. SpaceX names the lower phase of the vehicle as super heavy and all things considered, the pair is likewise alluded to as Starship. The imaging framework will be flown on NASA's W-57 airplanes, worked by the organization's Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. This airplane has been utilized to beforehand notice SpaceX missions. For example, the Dragon DM-1 mission, which tried SpaceX's Crew Dragon container in 2019. Preceding the DM-2 mission, flew space explorers Robert Behnken and Douglas Hurley and continued trips to the International Space Station from US soil a year after the fact. The airplane can fly up to heights of 60,000 feet and a drift level, and it has a scope of 7,500 miles with a payload limit of 8,800 pounds. The show identifies with another camera framework that NASA will grow explicitly to screen Starship during air re-emergence. This framework is called SAMI and NASA Langley depicts it as to play out the warm perception. NASA is fostering a high level multispectral imaging framework that will be flown on a NASA high height WB-57F exploration airplane. The subsequent aligned estimations will illuminate displaying endeavors and anchor surface temperatures surmised from inserted thermocouples. Through the SAMI program, NASA desires to allow SpaceX to diminish the launch expenses of the Starship program. SpaceX's main, Elon Musk, has additionally referenced low costs a few times, with the chief trusting that a 150-ton Starship launch to low Earth orbit will cost as low as $1.5 million coming about in a four each kilogram cost of $10 for examination. Through its rideshare program that utilizes the Falcon 9 rocket, SpaceX gives potential clients a gauge of $1 million for payloads as weighty as 200 kilograms. This resulted in an expense for low Earth orbit of $5,000. It likewise diagrams the sheer good faith which fills Musk's objective of at last making people an interplanetary species. And that's all for today. 
Thank you so much for watching the video. If you've enjoyed it, please like, share and subscribe to our channel for more such interesting content. See you in the next video.